Hi, hello. Welcome to another session on visual effects, the laboratory. Today we are going to do a small introduction to After Effects, so you can do your very first exercise using this software. When starting After Effects, you will be uh, first of all uh, seeing this Adobe uh, Creative Suite typical environment. When you create a new project, uh, you will see all windows are uh, empty. You can select another workspace as any other creative suite. I'm going to work with all panels, but if you want, you can change to animation, for example. When creating a new composition, it's important to understand what is going to be the pixel aspect ratio, what is going to be the resolution. Using the presets, uh, it's a good way to start with this. I'm using the HDTV uh, 1080 for 25 frames per second. Depending on what you produce, you might want to go to other uh, presets, for example, a high quality one, uh, like a 4K resolution. Here in duration, I set up uh, the duration to six seconds because I'm going to do just a very simple exercise. And uh, all these parameters is something you can change any, any moment, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's important to select a background color I tend to work with gray because uh, then later when you create your project, you are aware that this is transparent. This is kind of an alpha channel for me. When you export this, if there is nothing else and it's a video, probably this would be black. Unless you export that to a format like a PNG sequence that admits uh, alpha channel, in that case, it would be transparent. So let's start by importing some elements to this composition. If you remember, we have talked about this. Uh, After Effects is just a software to visualize different graphics in movement. So I'm going to the project window, right button, and then import file. You can also use Control plus uh, I. It will be command in a Mac environment. If we select any of these graphics, we can use them on the context of our animation. I'm going to select this uh, cricket and I'm going to select as well uh, the tennis ball and also this basketball. I'm going to import them, uh, all of them, as footage. But we'll explain later the difference between uh, importing as footage or as a composition. When you drag the three elements to the, to the composition windows, you will see that automatically they are uh, lasting as much as the composition duration is set. So it is the total of the six seconds of the timeline. That's normal. But obviously we are in our projects thinking about uh, a specific time for each layer. We are thinking, for example, oh, the ball would be two, three seconds. Then there will be another ball or then there will be this element or this other. So we need to adjust this duration. So the way to adjust this duration can be directly by changing here. So for example, if I want to set everything to be one second, I can set everything together, selecting shift, the three at the same time, and selecting shift again, I can drag that to where the timeline is. So if I set the timeline to two, I can select them to two very easily. Well, imagine that I want two seconds for each one. So tennis ball, then cricket, again, uh, by pressing uh, the, the shift at the same time, and then the basketball. Okay, so here we have two, two, and two seconds. Small comment about that. If you see a uh, tennis ball, you see that there is a transparency here. This is the alpha channel because this PNG has been uh, properly adjusted, so this would be only the ball, okay? In Photoshop, you might see the background white, but here you won't because there is an alpha channel that is properly adjusted. And the same for the cricket, but not the basketball. This means, obviously, that you need to go here, edit this, save it as a PNG with the corresponding alpha channel. Here, you could adjust the transparency using um, a chroma effect. Like, for example, adjusting chroma to the luminance 
of this uh, image and that would make probably to uh, get rid of most of the white but um, let's make a very simple test so if you select for example luma key uh, obsolete means that this is belonging to a previous version of after effects is still here but won't be in the next uh, uh, version so it's always better not to use these effects but this is just a test so in order to apply the effect you just drag it uh, to the corresponding layer this particular um, effect has these different uh, settings here I just read them I mean it's very easy key out brighter okay so we get rid of all the image and then we we adjust the threshold and uh, we adjust the tolerance okay and then maybe a little feather and you see that even doing this it doesn't really work uh, the image has a lot of brightness a lot of uh, highlights and those are interpreted to be transparent so it doesn't work the only way to create an efficient uh, alpha channel would be to edit the image in Photoshop. If you go to the folder, you select right button and you open it with Photoshop. Uh, you don't have it here. You might need to go to Photoshop before. You just need to select the white area, then select invert. And then later you can select this button here that saves the selection as a new channel. If you see here in this little icon, you will see white and black. White will pass. It's uh, not transparent. Black would be transparent. If you see here, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, hide all the rest of the channels. And then you will see more or less what is the channel. This is the transparency. So here it's not perfect. You can always edit that using a brush and you can you know create a little better uh, alpha channel and then later will be safe here so one way of being sure that you are getting the alpha channel is shaving as PSD which is uh, the format of Photoshop and it's perfectly compatible with uh, After Effects so I'm going to replace that with Photoshop file Okay, not ignore uh, straight, okay, it should be here, okay, so right now we have here the basketball, right now our animation is going to have only three objects with a, a space of two seconds each one, if you press the space bar you will see the animation, it's quite simple, disappointing maybe let's start working on those things first of all what is the size we want for the cricket uh, ball well to access the properties of each layer object you just have to display them here okay you see transform and within transform you can select the different uh, properties i suggest to learn from the beginning uh, all the shortcuts so for example, when you select cricket, you can select scale, which is very easy, S. And it's easily getting okay. But then uh, why not position? And you can either move the, the object in the uh, composition windows, or you can select the coordinates here. Okay, use the scroll of the uh, mouse to get closer or further manipulate the zoom and with this we have the object what I want now is to make the bouncing uh, balls so I want the balls to do a little uh, you know animation like that so I'm going to stop here and before starting with the animations of the bouncing balls, I'm going to move to the other tutorial I prepare about keyframing because it is important that you understand what kind of movement are we going to apply to each object. For now, I will save the project. 
you see and say fast just let's go call it bones in bowls just for now 